Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad, and on today's Weather Classroom, we're going to be talking about clouds, the many different types of clouds, but also can clouds actually help us forecast the weather? And in some cases, yeah, we can get a little bit of an idea of what's going on. But first, let's talk about the atmosphere. We have the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the thermosphere. The thermosphere is where the satellites are playing around. But the troposphere is where we live. 99% of all water vapor resides in this area. Now, the thickness of the troposphere is about 11 miles around the tropics, but it drops off to about 4 miles thick as we reach the polar regions. As far as clouds are concerned, there's three different types of clouds. There's high, middle, and low, and they have their respective names. Cirrus clouds are the high ones, alto clouds are the middle ones, and then we have the cumulus stratus type clouds for the lower types. Now, all because we have cirrus up here doesn't mean we can't have a cirro cumulus cloud because cumulus means vertical development and they can reach up in heights of about 25,000 to 30,000 feet. Here in this area, we're looking at about 6,000 to about 20,000 feet. And then of course we have anything below a mile down towards the surface is where we have the lower type of clouds. Now, as far as what they look like, well, these are cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are extremely high up in the atmosphere, so they're crystal. They're, they're ice crystals that are floating around out there, and they look like little wispy clouds. They come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Here we have more of a uniform cloud, so it's mainly called a cirrus stratus cloud because stratus is a uniform type of cloud. These clouds are also responsible for sometimes you see a halo around the sun. That's because the sun's rays are piercing through the ice crystals, causing a prism, and then we get the, the halo effect. Now dropping down into the middle range, the alto uh, clouds, these are alto cumulus clouds. You kind of see a little bit of vertical development there. This picture shows a little better vertical development. You can see them pretty high up in the atmosphere and these are called alto cumulus clouds. Dropping down again, we have your, your typical cumulus clouds that are forming mainly during the fair weather events during the summer months. But sometimes they can grow and they look a, like a big cauliflower and these are cumulonimbus clouds. These are the thunderstorm type of clouds. Now the stratus clouds are the rain producing clouds, very low to the ground. Even fog is a stratus type of cloud and it's responsible for most of the rain. Can we forecast the weather by knowing the type of clouds? In, in some cases, yes. Here's our cold front and as it moves across the earth, remember it's pushing up a lot of air and we have condensation forming. This is where we get our thunderstorms and rain events. But as the cloud gets up into the atmosphere, the wind blows off those clouds and we get our cirrus clouds. So those are the very high wispy clouds. And so then that will precede a cold front. Then we have our alto cumulus clouds. Then of course we have our rain clouds. And then behind the front, fair weather clouds is where we have our gen generally just our cumulus clouds just floating around up there. So once again, by knowing the type of clouds, we can actually predict a little bit about the weather. So when you start seeing the cirrus clouds and then the alto cirrus clouds, you know that changes right around the corner. That's today's weather classroom. I'm George, the weather dad.